Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Samsung has done it again. They've come out with a monitor that I think has more features than any other monitor I've used with their smart monitor, the M8 model, a 32 inch 4K UHD resolution display. And when I say they have the most features, I really mean it. They have voice control, they have casting, they have a slim fit camera for it. They even have an updated design, which I'm really excited to see. I have to give a big thanks to Samsung for sponsoring this video and sending their smart monitor M8 over for us to check out and unbox. We're gonna take a quick look what comes inside and then of course get some hands on and really check out all of the crazy amount of features that are included with this monitor. Let's get started. Opening the box, let's take a look what we get. Aside from the monitor, we have our installation guide to set up the display panel and our stand, which is right here. This is the spring green color. There's a sunset pink, a daylight blue, and also a warm white color to choose from. So you do attach these two at the bottom. I also wanna make note on the back, it shows off that herringbone pattern that they have, which also is on the back of the display. I'll show that off in a second. And the back panel also has a cutout for cable management. Attaching the base and the stand, very simple. Just connect the two and then tighten the screw down at the bottom of the base. We've also got a bag of goodies, including our cables and webcam. We have our quick setup guide, user manual, all that good stuff. We also have our power brick that connects to the monitor and our power cable that connects to the wall. They include two cables to connect to our Samsung smart monitor, including a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, which I know I'll be using mainly. However, they also offer the option for HDMI and mini HDMI. They also include two cables to connect to the monitor, USB Type-C to USB Type-C, which I know I'll be mainly using. However, they also offer the option of micro HDMI to HDMI. Now this is really cool. It includes a 1080p webcam that will attach to the back of the monitor. You'll see it's very slim. Now it uses this USB Type-C to four pin connector to magnetically attach to the back of the monitor. And you can very easily detach it if you're not using it. So obviously it will keep those very slim bezels. Also wanna make note, it has this little piece here that is magnetically connected to the back here and works just as a webcam cover if you need a little bit of privacy. And again, it's connecting with magnets, so it's very easy to disconnect and reconnect and it will stay connected. And last thing in the box, before we get to the monitor, I'm really excited because they updated the remote. It no longer takes batteries, which means it's much slimmer and you can charge it via USB Type-C. I have a ton of those chargers laying around. It even includes a USB Type-C cable that I mentioned earlier, and obviously still has those shortcut buttons, including Netflix, Disney Plus. It even has a voice activation. On the back of our monitor, we have our ports, micro HDMI to USB Type-C, and our power adapter slot, plus a power button. Connecting the monitor to the stand was very simple. Just line it up and snap it in. It's very secure and very easy. And the back has a matching texture to the base. Looks really good. You have speakers on the left and right hand side. Also the connection for our webcam, which will connect magnetically. Here is a quick example, putting that webcam on You'll see how easy it really is. Just snap it on, it connects magnetically, and you can take it off if you'd like to as well. Fits very slim, looks very sleek on the monitor. Plugging it in and pressing the power button. Let's run through the setup process. I'll talk about anything that's noteworthy. There are two options to set it up. You can actually use your smartphone to get everything all set up or just use the remote that comes with it. And then moving along, Samsung gives you the option to use Bixby or Amazon Alexa shoot, so you can choose which voice assistant you want. This monitor is also adaptive with the display and the sound. It will actually adapt based on your environment. You can turn this on and off if you'd like to. I'm going to enable it, and we are all set up and ready to go. 
After setting everything up, taking a look at the design of the Samsung M8 Smart Monitor, still cannot get over how thin it is. It's actually 11.49 millimeters at its thinnest point. It's actually crazy thin. The design itself is very minimal and will look good in just about any living space that you do put it in. And you have the option to customize the coloring. And not only can you tilt the monitor forward and back, you can actually raise it up and down. And no, before you ask that height adjustable stand, you do not have to pay extra for. The UI is very self-explanatory, easy to run through. They give you a lot of suggestions, different types of content on your home screen. Also, you have access to all of your streaming apps. It's a ton of app options. You can download them. It even includes Spotify, Google Duo. And after using this monitor, I'm really impressed with how quick and snappy the user interface is and opening, switching between apps and using apps. It's just crazy how fast it is. This monitor also includes Samsung TV Plus. So you get free TV. You don't need a subscription whatsoever. You can scroll through the guides, check out some news. They categorize it with TV shows, movies, a lot of different content that's all completely free. This monitor can act as just a workstation in and of itself. It has a browser built in so you can browse on your own, again, without anything connected to it. And not only that, there's Bluetooth built in so you can connect a keyboard and mouse just straight to the monitor and use it. So you could completely browse different websites without connecting any device. And speaking of connections, there's a lot of different ways to get connected to this monitor. As I mentioned, with a keyboard and mouse connected to it, you can actually access Microsoft 365, which means you can just use Excel, Word, anything synced up to your Microsoft account, you can access, edit, all with just a keyboard and mouse. Of course, you can connect a Windows computer and a Mac, obviously with a cable or even wirelessly for both of them. There is even Samsung DeX built into this monitor. A quick example of Samsung DeX on my Galaxy S22 Ultra, just wirelessly connected to the Samsung M8 Smart Monitor. And again, now I have a keyboard and mouse already connected to the monitor. I can take full advantage of a desktop-like experience. I can open up my messages, use all of the apps that are already on my phone. Oh, and there's actually AirPlay built into this monitor. I don't even think Apple has AirPlay built into their monitors. Really crazy. It works well. This is another option to show off yet another feature. When I am using AirPlay, you'll see I have my video editor up. It, you can actually have a picture-in-picture -picture mode. So you can watch content, open up specific apps in another window. You can resize these windows. You can choose which window actually will play audio as well. And then yes, you can just go completely full screen. And speaking of that AirPlay, it works really well. Check out the scrubbing on this video editor. It's very accurate, snappy, quick, very responsive. I'm truly impressed. You can also use a cable to connect to this monitor with USB Type-C. You can even charge your devices while you're using it on this monitor. So you can have a dual monitor set up. You can take full advantage of a higher screen real estate. I can even use my laptop, which is a 1080p laptop, and take advantage of that 4K resolution, just showing a lot more on the screen. Not only do you have that 4K UHD resolution on this 32 inch monitor, you also have a lot of other features that make this display great. It has a 1 billion color range. You get HDR 10 plus 99% sRGB and adaptive picture mode. I found the colors to be very accurate. They really pop. Also viewing angles are excellent. So when I'm in my chair, rolling back and forth across my desk, I can truly see what's on the screen at an angle. And don't forget, there's also a webcam that comes with this monitor. Just a quick preview example of it. It has Google Duo built in. You even can work out with the webcam connected to make sure your form is looking good. I found that the webcam actually balanced the light really well. Also, it has a status indicator so you always know when that webcam's on. When it comes to those built-in speakers, Samsung was very aware of what type of monitor this is. The speakers that are built in are much better than just about any other monitor speakers that you'd expect. They get very loud and very full. I find myself listening around 19 and 20 to fill this entire room when I'm watching content, YouTube videos, Netflix, 
all that good stuff, or even when I'm editing video as well, but it goes all the way up to 100. So as you could tell, it will get very loud. I can control it with this remote, but also with my voice. And speaking of voice assistance, yes, you can activate it on the remote, but there's also microphones built in so you can use your voice to use a keyword to activate it. Alexa, what's the weather like today? The current weather is 39 degrees. And obviously with the speakers built in, it can respond to you, but also show things on the monitor. So it's a completely smart monitor. Samsung's also added smart things to this monitor so you can connect all of your IoT devices in one place in this hub and control it with your voice. To recap, I still cannot get over how many features Samsung has packed into this M8 smart monitor. It's absolutely incredible. I love the design, very clean, will look good in any space that you decide to put it in. Having that magnetic camera that really doesn't take up a lot of space is extremely convenient. I love the color options that they give. And again, so many different ways to cast to this screen to utilize that USB Type-C cable. And of course, consume a lot of content watching those TV streaming apps, whether you're watching YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, and it even comes with a remote to control it. And you can control it with your voice. I could go on and on. Just go watch the video if you missed some of these features. So that's everything for now. Be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this M8 smart monitor from Samsung. Be sure to subscribe as well. A lot more content coming soon. As always, thanks for watching.